Well, the Israel-Hamas truce, it's entered day four after 48 days of war bombardment that killed over 50 days, pardon me, that killed thousands on both sides. Joyous but tearful reunions unfolded when people returned home as hope returned with them. Emotions of longing and relief bathed the streets as people welcomed their family members at both sides of the border. Israeli families rejoiced as they welcomed Hamas held hostages when they emerged after spending about 50 days in captivity in the Gaza Strip, while the Palestinian skies lit up after the return of the third batch of prisoners from Israel. A 21-year-old Israeli woman had an emotional reunion with her family at a hospital where she is undergoing surgery after her return. Now, she was shot in the leg by Hamas militants in the, on the 7th of October music festival attack. The militants kidnapped her along with her brother, who is believed to be one of the many hostages still held in the Gaza Strip. Now, Abigail Eden, a girl who turned four just last week while being held in Hamas captivity, has become a symbol of hope for the war-torn families. Abigail, whose parents were killed in the October 7th attacks on Israel, was the youngest U.S. citizen held by Hamas, and she returned home on Sunday. President Joe Biden addressed Abigail's return in televised remarks, saying that what she endured is quote-unquote unthinkable. Now, viewers, after 49 days in captivity, an 85-year-old woman was embraced by her family and was pictured beaming alongside them in Israel. The Holocaust survivor who was swept away on a golf cart by Hamas militants is determined to fight for the captives and hostages held in the Gaza Strip. Now, as per her family, the 85-year-old's eldest grandson, who was also abducted by Hamas, remains in captivity. A 9-year-old Israeli-Irish girl thought killed in Hamas attacks was released by the militant group. The girl who celebrated her birthday in captivity was welcomed by her father and her sister after her release. She was kidnapped from a friend's house when Hamas militants swarmed into Israeli communities on a deadly onslaught. Meanwhile, on the other side of the border, Palestinians released from Israeli prisons returned to a hero's welcome in the West Bank after being released by Israel. Now the longing families of the released are seen hugging them in almost disbelief of their return home. Now the cheering crowd hosted the released on shoulders while many waved victory signs and these visuals are from the third of the fourth four-day planned swaps under the ceasefire that was agreed upon. Palestinian families in Jerusalem were seen rejoicing as their relatives were released from Israeli prisons. Hostages released on Sunday include teens and young men, all aged 15 to 19 years of age. Now, a lot of them, most of them are minors. Now, the Palestinians held by Israel were largely accused of public disorder, threatening physical harm to Israeli officers and of links to the militant group Hamas. <coughs> However, important to remember that families of the hostages not slated for release from the strip in the current truce continue to endure the nightmares and most of the released on the other side will return to flattened homes in the Gaza Strip after the Israeli strikes. The fourth set of people are set to be released from both sides and while joy of the families remains an unmissed emotion, people on both sides are wary of what might follow as the temporary truce has entered its final day.